Oscar Piastri F1 case could end up in high court, says Alpine boss. Alpine could seek millions in compensation at the high court if their Australian reserve Oscar Piastri refuses to race for them next season. According to the Formula One team's principal, Otmar Zafnau, Renault-owned Alpine announced highly rated Piastri last week as replacement for double world champion Fernando Alonso in their 2023 lineup, but the 21-year-old has ruled it out. McLaren, who are fighting Alpine for fourth in the championship, have reportedly told Daniel Ricciardo he's been dropped for Piastri last year's Formula 2 champion. Zafnauer said all the indications from their base in Paris were that Alpine were prepared for a legal battle once the sports August break was over. Going to the high court is over 90% certain. That's what we'll do, he told on Monday. The American said he contacted F1's contract recognition board last week, but that avenue might not be sufficient. If the CRB says your license is only valid at Alpine, and then Piastri says, that's great, but I'm never driving for them, I'll just sit out a year, then you've got to go to the high court for compensation, said Zafnauer. There has been speculation that the two teams will ultimately come to an understanding that could see race winner Ricardo return to Alpine, the Australian's employers before McLaren. Alpine have spent heavily on preparing Piastri for F1, with independent tests and thousands of kilometres in last year's car, including one at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. An F1 power unit alone costs some 1.75 million euros, and there's also the expense of a dedicated test team of mechanics and engineers who need flights, cars and hotels. We haven't sat down with the accountants to figure out everything we've spent. We'll have to do that if we do go to the High Court, said Zafnauer. He said Piastri had signed a heads-of-terms agreement with Alpine in November last year, which set out the path to a 2023 race debut. The deal included the possibility of being loaned to another team for a year. The legal argument will likely revolve around potential loopholes. Piastri had looked set for a year at tailenders Williams before Alonso, seemingly close to an extension at Alpine, suddenly announced he was joining Aston Martin and sent the driver market into a spin. Zafnauer said he understood Alonso's reasoning, with the money and length of contract likely key factors for the 41-year-old Spaniard. How do you think this story will end? Is Piastri in danger right now? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.